I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about alternating series. In problem number 49, we'd like to determine whether the following series converges absolutely, converges conditionally, or diverges. And this time we have the sum k going from 1 to infinity of cosine of k uh, divided by k cubed. And so the first thing we typically check out in this type of a problem is does it converge absolutely? And so if I make all of these positive, notice that cosine of k, sometimes that's a positive number, sometimes it's a negative number. When? Well, we could investigate, but it's not necessarily even alternating. It could be like a negative, a negative, a positive, a positive, something like this. Uh, it could it's just some random negatives in there. But I could make them all positive just by taking the absolute value. So what I'd like to consider is the sum k going from 1 to infinity of the absolute value of cosine of k divided by k cubed. So in some sense I've just forced everything to be positive. I just said they're all positive. Now can I figure out if this guy converges or diverges? If it converges then I can say that this series converges absolutely. If this one diverges then I need to do more work to see if this one converges conditionally or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is now that I've got all of these cosine k's to be positive by taking the absolute value, I can say, well, one thing I know for sure, they're all positive and cosine of k is certainly less than 1. So see if you agree with what I am about to write. I have some k going from 1 to infinity of absolute cosine k over k cubed and that's certainly less than or equal to the sum k going from 1 to infinity of 1 over k cubed. So I'm kind of using a comparison test here and what is going on here? Well I know that cosine is always less than 1 all right, and all of these guys are positive, so I know that this positive sum is going to be less than or equal to this positive sum. But what is this? This is a nice p series, and it converges because p is 3. So it's a p series that converges, and I said that this sum is bigger than this sum. So if something that converges is bigger than some other positive value, then this guy must converge as well. Since this guy converges, we can say that this one converges absolutely. So what I'll write in conclusion is, so sum k going from 1 to infinity of absolute cosine k over k cubed converges by uh, a comparison test thus uh, the sum k going from 1 to infinity of cosine k over k cubed converges absolutely. Okay, so we showed that this guy converges by using a comparison test with a P series, and so this guy must converge absolutely, and we're done.